Welcome back to Oracle Open World Live. I'm your host here in San Francisco, Rich Schwerin, live in our Moscone West studios. Uh, we're going to check in now on the Oracle Open World Music Festival. Five nights, eight venues, 24 artists. If you're watching there, you just saw Macy Gray, Jimmy Cliff, Joss Stone. Now, of course, uh, we had some concert footage of Macy a few days ago. Jimmy was here with us in studio for an interview, and Joss Stone we'll get to in a moment. Um, well, the music festival has a lot of different artists at a lot of different venues. Uh, Golden State, we had James Grundler perform live here on set. Uh, of course, the Hives are coming up in the It's a Rap Party on, uh, uh, event on uh, Thursday. Um, well, last night, we did have a chance to catch up with Joss Stone. Uh, this was before her performance. Uh, we'd like to show you that along with some great concert footage. So could we roll that clip? I'm excited by technology because it makes it possible for us to do so many things. And um, for me personally, it makes it possible for me to spread my music around the world. You had me, you lost me, you wasted, you caused me. I don't want you here messing with my mind. When I first began selling music, I guess, and that kind of became my job, I guess more records were sold and they hadn't really figured out the download yet. And now it's definitely changed and everyone's downloading all over the place. You can look at that as half full or half empty. I look at that as half full because this way everyone can hear the music that you make. Music is a beautiful thing. Why should only a certain amount of people get to experience that? It's wonderful. Facebook and Twitter and all these things. It's crucial for an artist today if you want to be a certain kind of artist. It really just depends what you want out of life, you know. It's not crucial to me to be able to make music because I will make music regardless of whether I tweet about it or not. And that goes for every person that has music inside of them. You don't need that to actually create the music. If you want to spread it around the world, far and wide, and touch as many souls as possible, then yeah, it's kind of crucial, I'd say. I'm just trying to tell you, super duper, wait a minute. I really like San Francisco. It's real like full of music and art. It's very soulful, very soulful place. I say goodbye. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now I feel like I'm part of the party. This is good. Fantastic. I, I'm sure a lot of you out there watching had a chance to see Joss, and uh, she's just one of the many artists at the Oracle Open World Music Festival. Really innovative experience. Well, this segment marks our final live segment here from the Moscone West Studios. But there's more live programming coming up. Uh, I do want to remind you that tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, you can tune in right here on YouTube to watch Oracle President Mark Hurd deliver his keynote. So don't miss it. Uh, it's been a pleasure to host the show this year with dozens of live interviews. We've talked to Oracle Chief Corporate Architect Edward Screven, Oracle Chief Security Officer Mary Ann Davidson, of course, Group Vice President of Product Marketing Bob Shimp was uh, kind enough to come on the show, I think, three times. Um, we've talked to a number of different people from areas of uh, the company. Paul Salinger from Events, talking about sustainability. John Chorley, our Chief Sustainability Officer, talking about the, the, the importance of sustainability to the corporation. We've also had a lot of fun with a live musical performance right here in studio with James Grundler of Golden State. They're about to go on a tour up to Seattle. Um, and also, if you tuned in this morning, you saw members of Oracle Team USA. Uh, they're in the midst of a regatta right here in San Francisco. They were kind enough to come on the show, and they brought with them the oldest trophy in sport, the America's Cup. It's a fantastic experience. All told, by the time we're done, we will have broadcast more than 60 live segments. So now, before I sign off, I'd like to thank everyone who has helped make Oracle Open World Live possible. From Oracle, Jeff Spicer, Christina Cavana, Suzanne Cronin, Kathleen Kiroz, Nicole Bigley, Adrian Olds, John Von Seberg, Lisa Catalano, Kimberly Lewis, and of course the entire Oracle Digital Media Technology crew. Our music correspondent, Shannon Marie, and of course the crew here at Moscone West in San Francisco, uh, Open World Live. Jennifer Goodman, Angela Cosentino, Denise DePaula, uh, Scott Green, Jim Iacona, Jakub K. 
Kalosek, uh, Joe Victoria, Steve Barger, Mario Torres, Scott Mackle, Daryl Flowers, Mikey Ewerts, Jeff O'Salmon, Jonathan Cox, and, da and David Rome. Oh, excuse me, please. Excuse me. There's one more person that we need to thank. So on behalf of Oracle Executive Management, the production team and staff, all the crew here, we want to thank you, Rich, for the fabulous job you've done all week oh, long. Thank you. Program. Thanks so much. Thanks, Suzanne. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Really appreciate it. So uh, one final note. Remember, uh, just because we're not going to be live here in West, there's still live programming uh, tomorrow morning with Oracle President Mark Hurd. He's going to be delivering a keynote that begins at 9 a.m. Pacific right here on YouTube. So until next year, thanks for watching.